Hi guys, this is Aaron. I play Magic way too much. Okay, we are talking about Liliana, and I want to show you a commons and uncommons deck that works okay. I've only played it about seven times. I have lost one deck, or one uh, time, but I lost to uh, a Kyora deck that was just insane, so I don't feel too bad about that. Um, but here we go. Uh, all commons, uncommons. Transgress the Mind is perfect for any black deck because it... Uh, it Basically, if they take two turns to build up mana, uh, you can take away their two turns all right away. Um, this deck is going to kind of try to gain some life <clears throat> and use some abilities as we gain life. So um, target creature gets 3-1, and that gets you back in the game if you're overmatched and you need a little life. Fleshbag Marauder. Um, there's not many common and uncommon cards that kill other creatures. This is one of them. And actually, there is one uncommon that I'm missing that kills a creature for five and um, investigates two. I think. So uh, here we have Call the Bloodline. Again, we're going to gain life with this, and because of this support, we're going to get some vampire tokens out. Here, we're going to do one damage and gain life. You kind of get the idea. Here's a vampire that when we gain life, we get plus one, plus one. Whenever a creature you control attacks, so sometimes this is getting plus three, plus three a turn. Um, here's a shaman that makes us gain life again. Um, not too bad. Uh, 11 casting costs for five attack. Kill a creature. We have to have that. This is my version of a kill a creature, um, even though it's not the best kill creature card, but you have to, I have to have something like that. And here again is a kill creature card, because what we're trying to do is um, just get our little creatures out and kind of stave off them getting anything too crazy, okay? Um, and I went through a few combinations, and this seems to be the best right now, Um and I did lose one, like I said, um, in the process. But that was to Koth, and uh, he attacked me with like a, oh, I forget what it was, but it was like a 60-60 or something. No, it wasn't to Koth, I mean, it was to Kyora, and it just killed me. Okay, so here's our strategy. Get out a creature and then kill theirs, so it's all lined up. And again, with Liliana, we are matching black, then blue, and that works out here, too. Black, blue, then red, potentially. So, um, well... Not the best start, but we're going to match red. And I'm going to try to match things pretty quickly so we can move this through. Um, and I like that a little better than that one. And we'll just kind of keep going, see what happens. I am glad we're hooked up against Chandra. She is a good card, a good creature, but she's not going to just blow us out of the water or anything like that. The one, the mana on this is incredible. If you can make black and blue matches and get an average of at seven or eight a turn, it really just is incredible how fast this deck can be. Um, with that said, if you don't get any black or blue matches, it goes really slow. But since there's two colors that are that powerful, it usually works out just fine. Okay, so this might be like a werewolf deck. I think that's, well, that's not a werewolf, never mind. It's just that's an odd card you don't see very often, so I'm actually kind of surprised to see it. Um, and that's okay. And I'm, I'm not going to go out of my way to kill him. I'm going to... One problem with this deck that I've really noticed is that the loyalty abilities don't do much for you. You really have to have vampires um, in order to make it work. Um, we are running some trouble here. That's... Let's get rid of this one. So, um, yeah, like I said, the abilities aren't worth a whole lot. The first one makes you draw an extra card. Actually, I should have, pardon me, I said that wrong. It makes you get six mana if you discard a card. So that actually is something I want to do here um, pretty soon. So I'm going to put it in that order. Actually, I'll put it in that order and see if I can kill some of his guys. And then because I do need that mana, I'm going to discard the last card. And that really is the only one we use. And, oh, I just missed an upper, a match five on the right side. That's what I get for trying to go fast. That happens. Maybe sometimes they leave. Darn it. They didn't even match the match five. But sometimes they just don't see them, the computer. Um, here's a good opportunity. They have something that's kind of half built up. So we're going to try to kill that card, his first creature, or the first card he was going to cast. But you see how this works. It kind of just slow and steady. 
uh, and this until that happens, and that's okay actually. But this is one of the first decks, first planeswalkers I've seen that it really the rares and the uh, uncommons, or pardon me, the rares and mythics do tend to make a bigger difference in this deck, um, just because there's so many good kill creature. Um, things, a lot of five casting costs that kill creatures, things like that. So, but actually we are in a good spot here. This is exactly how the deck's supposed to work. Kind of stave them off until we can get our combination. And now right here, that 4-4 four, four is going to grow, grow, grow every single turn. And we are in good shape here. One thing is Fleshbag Marauder. We can choose to use that ability or not. Um, at least when I first used the card, uh, I kind of wrote it off because I couldn't control when it was used. I just, all of a sudden, you know, one of my creatures would be killed and maybe they didn't even have a creature to kill. So, but it works out really well now. And now we have another opportunity to gain some life. And so that 5-5 five five now is just going to get bigger and bigger. Okay, here's something we got to worry about. Well... Because we have, and actually right here, there are two different um, give negative five fives, and there's another one that's give negative four four that costs two less. The five five makes all the difference in the world. Like it really, um, you have to use the give five five, or the, the subtract five five, because like right there, it saved us, and the two casting cost isn't that big of a deal. And that's actually gain some life back, and pump her up at the same time. And I like that plus three, one, two, if, uh, you know, somebody has something with reach or something, you know, you can kill them if it's a bigger reach creature. So we're just kind of plugging along. Like I said, we haven't taken too much damage. I think we start with 114, so we're at 11 minus, and that's one kind of reasonable thing about this deck is that it really... Um, does well in terms of like uh, ending with full health or close to full health. And this is exactly what we want. So we have three creatures attacking. We are going to gain plus three, plus three on that lower creature. And we're going to do three to do three damage to him. And we're almost back to one uh, 14. Actually, we're not going to quite get there. But you can see how this deck works. It works pretty well. Um, it's not my favorite of the common uncommons, but you can kind of see the cards I'm using, and you can kind of um, mix that in with your rares and things like that. Um, I'm sure if you've been playing a while, you have some kill creatures that are rare in black, which really just speeds it up and gets rid of like that one that 10 casting costs to give negative 13, 13 to each to the opponent's creatures. There you go, guys. Um, those are my favorite commons and uncommons in that combination. Um, you don't need rares and mythics to win this game. You just need a little creativity, uh, and you go from there. So you don't have to be playing a long time and have 600 cards in your set. You just uh, you can kind of mix and match, and that's one thing I really like about this game. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.